Demography is about how populations change across place and time. Demographers study not only the size and composition of populations, but also what factors lead to a changing population. Many countries face pressing population problems and demographers seek to understand the dynamics that led to them and help solve them. My research is really about trying to better understand how populations change. And I bring in demographic techniques to understand all sorts of different problems, from migration, trying to understand how many people are moving from one country to another, uh, or even within countries, to even understanding of how our fertility patterns are changing and what, say, the demand might be for uh, uh, fertility treatments for uh, couples that are postponing their children so that they can uh, <clears throat> fulfill both their educational and work aspirations. My research looks at health and aging in the Philippines. In particular, I look at how the family, which is the basic unit of society, influences the health of older people in the Philippines. I specifically looked at the, the fertility of Mongolia because in the last 15 years, the government distributed huge monetary benefits to the couples and for their newborn kids as well. Demography is the study of life and death and everything that happens to us in between. Well, demography for me, it's something that surrounds everything in life. From the stars in the cosmos to the simplest and smallest bacteria and all the living species on Earth, they live, they are born, they live and they die. These are the essential transitions of demography. We study that. Demography is positioned in a very strategic place. We borrow theories from the social and economic science. We take theories from the biological and medical sciences. And we are founded on a strong base of mathematics, statistics, and computer science. With these tools in hand, we are in a unique position to inform policy and decision making.